The Love Frame Tutorial Part 4. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to save our file into the different formats. We've already been taught how to do it as an SVG file, but now we want to turn these into an EPS file, a DXF file, and a GSD file. So what we want to do is we want to take our mat and our detail and we want to separate it. Because when you're creating other files, you need to have, you don't want to have them all stacked on top of each other. Uh, some software products allow that and others don't. So I just basically separate them so there's no confusion with whatever software product you're using when you're pulling these files in. So now that you've done this, let's go up to File, Save As, and let's save this as a DXF file. So let's click on our drop-down box here. And it now shows the listing, and you can click on the Desktop Cutting Plotter DXF. And let's go up here, and let's change the name. We'll take this out, and we're going. It's going to append the file extension automatically. So when we save this, it'll save it as a DXF file. So now we're going to click Save. And sometimes the window goes behind, and you can, you can click on the uh, Save button again. It, you've got to make sure that this window comes up. And once it comes up, you know that it saved it as a DXF file. And so now you have a DXF file. We can now go out and save this file. So do File Save As as an encapsulated file. So let's do that. So we'll click on our list of files here, our types of files that we want to create. The list comes up and we click on Encapsulated Postscript. And again, I go out here and I take out the extension because I default it to a pending the extension, and now I click Save. <clears throat> okay, and I just let it default uh, with these settings. It depends upon what you're doing, whether you need these to be set or not. I leave them like it is. And click OK. All right. Now we've created our SVG file, our EPS file, and our DXF file. Now we have to create the GSD file. And I'm going to stop the tutorial right now, and then we'll come back and we'll create the GSD file. Okay, the next thing we want to do in this tutorial is to create our GSD file. So what we want to do is we now want to go out to our Robo Master Pro software, open it, and then we want to go to File, Load DXF File, and now I'm going to go out and uh, view my latest file that I put out here, and if I click on the, the uh, date file, it's going to bring the, the uh, frame that I just worked on. So you can see that it's the Love Frame 2000, and I can open it up. I, I highlight it, and I click Open, and now it brings it into the Craft, uh, into the RoboMaster Pro software. First thing you want to do is you want to view and zoom out so that you can now uh, take a look at this. It's on a landscape, so let's change that. So we go to File, Document Settings, and I'm going to use a carrier sheet, and I always set mine to Letter. Click Portrait, and click OK. 
So now this is on the right size paper, and we see some issues here where you've got uh, blue. Anytime you see that, you want to highlight your design, go into right-click, line settings, and change this to black. And now you want to say OK. And while it's highlighted, you can now say group. So it turns this into a whole group where you can move it around. If you don't group it, you're going to get all the individual nodes, and you don't want that to happen. So again, we're going to now highlight this file. We're going to go out and right click the line settings, change it to black. You can change it to red. Let's change it to red. Say OK. And now we can go up and group. Hit edit and group. And now that is a file. So that by doing the separate colors, you can cut them out separately. If you want to cut them out together, you're going to go into File, Output Settings, and look at your cut line settings. And basically, both of these are set to cut. Now, if you don't want to cut one, you can turn one of them off, cut one on one color, and then come back in, turn that one off, and set this one on, and then cut it. OK, now that we have created our design and we're happy with it, the, next, the last thing we need to do is click File, Save As, and we're going to save it as a GSD file. It's automatically going to my templates. We can keep the same name. The type is GSD. We click Save. Since I've already saved this prior, it's going to tell me, oh, do I want to replace it? I'm going to say yes. But in your case, you just need to hit Save. So I'm clicking Yes and it's been saved to my templates folder. We have now created a GSD file, and previously we created an SVG file, an EPS file, and a DXF file. This concludes our tutorial. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I wish you lots of success.